Welcome to Rust Spectrum. Today I gathered Rust role players from my Discord to ask them controversial questions about role players and have them share their opinions. These are real people, real conversations, nothing is scripted. If you'd like to be in videos like this, join my Discord. The people in this video are random members from my community. Today, we're going to see if all role players in Rust think the same. I've been bullied or picked on by other Rust players for role playing. Three, two, one, go. I mean, when I'm role playing, I'm usually like doing some cool stuff, like setting up lights in the bass or like recently setting up music and everything. And like having the mic in the bass where like the speakers go all the way through and like you can yell at the door campers. So, I mean, if you consider that role playing, like everyone has fun with it. So no one really bullies me in my group or in the server, at least. It's really cool. Uh, I personally say strong ugly because most of the rest community is just a bunch of vanilla players and you don't really look at role players as like a as something good okay i slightly disagree because at the end of the day it's rust there's always going to be somebody who's going to be making fun of you for doing something stupid so whether you're role playing or whether you're uh just playing the game normally i feel like there's always going to be someone bashing at you so that's why i disagree rust would be a dead game if it didn't have role playing features three two one go so i don't think the game would be dead i mean i think there was a real strong community when it was just being a chad but like even the chads take advantage of the role-playing stuff like how many solos can get 100 percent comfort without a chair so i genuinely think that while role-playing has its place in the game and it can be intermingled with the old play style I don't think that you need one in order to keep the game alive. I think they're both able to do their own thing. So when you're based near like the water and you see the sunrise and the sunset and it looks all pretty, when you have a box of AKs, you're just chilling like with your pals, put down a chair, put down a table, put down some rugs, like enjoy the moment. Without that, like without that kind of like release from like the Chad life, I, I think the game would like suffer a little bit. I think the game would die uh, very quickly without role players because role players can make the game what it is. Because you always need some diversity between two types of players. You can have the Chads, you can have the role players. So I think it wouldn't fully die because you know you have those Chads who play like Face Punch main stuff like that, but then you have the role players who like go on those smaller servers, those servers that aren't really used that much so like if you think about it if all these role player aspects were like removed and the role players would start to leave then it really it would just be those small servers that start to die off and like the really only servers you could play with other people would be like those big servers like face punch or rusty moose stuff like that just to build off of something um i think Jaden said these all these items like it wouldn't kill the game removing them because back in 2016 people had to get creative they had to use signs they had to like build bases in certain ways to make them all role play they didn't have all these certain items so it's something to think about like these items don't make role players role players like are creative themselves i think Jaden really put into perspective for me something i wasn't thinking of uh in the game of poker you need bad players so that way the good players have someone to beat same thing in rust you need to have role players that the chads can beat because if you just have chad on chad violence eventually people are going to get bored and they're just going to leave wipes early and you'll have you know partially dead servers I think as as much as it sucks to say it, being the small fish is good for the ecosystem of Rust. What I was trying to get at was I was saying that slowly over time, if every single role player item just period got removed, a handful or more of the role players would leave the game or just stop playing on those larger or smaller servers um i don't think it would kill the game entirely like uh, someone else made same point people can get creative and they can just find other ways to you know have fun in the game also with how big rust is growing i don't think there's going to be like a big huge knockoff of players if you remove all those items because so many people bash on role players it sometimes makes me not want to play rust three Two, one, go. Uh, I, I get very easily disturbed. Uh, so when someone really pisses me off for making, like, for something that I spent, like, hours on doing, 
like let's say I made like a like a cool base or something with like a bunch of role player stuff in it, and someone just continuously criticizes it and no nice things whatsoever, it can sometimes bring me down enough to just not want to play Rust for the day. Um, yeah, I just got to say I kind of play the game for my enjoyment. So if I'm off doing something like just recently we were playing on a server and I kept getting invited to go and do stuff and I was like, no, I'm okay. Like I want to build my own disco floor and. I just had a great time myself just being me. You, you know, it's a game. I don't take anything that people say in this game personally or to heart. If someone wants to say that what I made doesn't look good, hey, you're probably right, but I enjoy it at the end of the day. I don't think anything like that could make me want to stop playing Rust, if I'm being honest, because there's so much to do on here. You could, even if you're not role playing, you could do something else. And I mean, if someone's bashing you for it, you could just, you know, take care of them the old fashioned Rust way. There are definitely going to be people that are toxic or people that you will not like. I feel like that should be the mentality that you go in for every game. That's a that's a big thing with Rust because Rust is known as a, a really big toxic community. Rust wouldn't be Rust without that toxic community. So I'm, I'm kind of glad that it's there. But at the same time, people that don't have the mental strength just should not play the game. Face Punch should add more role playing features instead of focusing on other ideas. Three two one go it would be a good idea because like it's i feel like what they're doing right now they're kind of focusing on one player base you know like with the people who just like want to get more loot raid people and whatnot but on the other hand you know like you don't have to focus a bunch of time into it like maybe just add a couple things every now and again every update you know uh i completely agree with chicken they should definitely be focusing a little bit more on the other side of the player base because they are very one-sided with updates currently like i do like the dlcs and stuff but like i wish they added more items that wouldn't always cost money I have a hot take, and I actually disagree with both Chicken and Jaden. I, I feel like this game has been really heavily favored towards role players like us because, I mean, every one of the DLCs has been real role player centric. Uh, even some of the tw Twitch drops, you got the hobo barrel, you got the couch. I mean, a lot of stuff has been coming out as of, you know, my time playing Rust that have been really role player centric. And I think. Uh, if you alienate a group of your game, like there's another game I play, RuneScape, that does not care about the PvPers, and you're going to kill off that section. And I think while I, I really do enjoy all the stuff that's come out, I think there's got to be a little more balance. Uh, I agree with Azer. There's so many different things that this game needs to fix, like as of this update even, like the red tint, the blue tint, and the snow, like so much potential for stuff other than role player items. Like the, I know, yeah, as Azer pointed out, all the DLCs uh, have been role player oriented, maybe like a PvP oriented DLC, but that would also introduce like a pay to win kind of style. So I get offended when someone in Rust calls me a role player. Three, two, one go there is a neg a big negative connotation with that word in rust especially just because people just don't think you're as good as the game as they are because you like to just do your own thing and not worry about you know farm an oil rig and everything so that's why i'm over on the agree side i, I gotta think uh, i gotta say hobo you kind of gave me a different perspective on this i've always seen the term when someone calls me a role player uh, in the same light as someone calling you a good actor. If you're role-playing and you're doing a good job at role-playing, that's kind of something to look up on. But I guess you brought a different point to my head where if you're not trying to you know, role-play and someone calls you that, it could be taken as an insult because they're saying that you're nowhere near as good as they are in the other aspects of the game. So while I personally find myself on the other side and strongly disagree, I can respect what Hobo says and kind of see how it could be viewed differently. I'm going to take what Azer said, and yes, normally the word role player is an insult, but if you get called it enough after playing the game for months or years, you just get used to it and you just take it as a compliment because role playing is not a bad thing. So if you're playing this game and you're worried about like getting triggered and you're coming from the Twitter sphere and like not, not being able to handle an insult or two, 
you're playing the wrong game. So if someone calls you something you don't like, like you got to just shrug it off. Like it, it's rust. Most toxic community that there can be. Like they call you like racist words. They call you like anything under the sun. Like it, you can't just like be offended. I, I actually feel glad that, you know, some people call us role players because that means that the role player community has shaped rust so much that it actually gets around and if people want to use that as an insult, I'll honestly take it as a compliment. Microtransactions run games. You know, profitability is always key. Who do you think pays for more skins from uh, Face Punch? Do you think it's PvPers or do you think it's role players? Yes. Definitely, definitely role players because I feel it can be split. Yeah. It can be split because lots of friends spend players. money on like alien reds and stuff. But role yeah, but you don't really get an advantage with skins. Th those skins, like the alien skins. Those aren't directly affecting face punch. The only thing they care about is the skins that they upload weekly, because that's where they get their cut from. Yeah, and what do they upload weekly? They upload a road sign set. They upload door skins. They yeah boxes. But all boxes as well, but that can be used for a zerg to identify what's in the box. Like those neon skins. Most every week, like it's catered towards the zergs and toward towards the chads. I'm pretty like most of them most of the time. Like, whenever I, like, hear the word role player, I think of a player base that doesn't have, like, a huge amount of hours, like, as, yeah. like, Chad and Zerg do. Not less confident, it's just that they don't, they don't want to spend as much, like, money on microtransactions as people with, like, 2k to 4k, like, to, like, 10k hours. This game and community would be much better if more people became role players. Three, two, one, go. The reason I disagree with that is because one, there's already a, like servers meant for role players. So if you're looking to do that, you can easily find a server to do that for yourself. However, on a main server or server where everyone's competitive, most people on those servers are playing the game to PVP to get loot. And on the slight chance that you come across a role player base, it's kind of refreshing. It's kind of like you see somebody playing the game and they're playing it their own way and they don't care what's going on around them. So it's a nice little refreshing take from all the action that Russ has to get has to offer. You go into a main server, what do you see? You see the one lighthouse farms in the corner, you see another one, but like there's not too many, and it's like a bunch of third bases and everything. It's a nice balance. Add more role players, it's like an imbalance in the forest or something like that. So, Fire Nation attacked. Yeah, the Fire Nation's gonna come down and like rain hell on everything. I, I agree and disagree with people on the other side. Uh, Hobo, I, I slightly do agree with you. I think that it is good to have different places and having specific servers for specific things makes sense. I, I really do disagree with you saying that, you know, this game is molded on toxicity and for that reason alone, we need to stay toxic. I don't think role players really need to stick to one role and not venture out and try any of the other monuments and whatnot. I just think that why do we need toxicity in a game? I understand that people do it. It's, it's always fun to you know, talk crap to someone, but at the end of the day, like it, it doesn't make the server in this game a better place. And just because that's what we've become accustomed to, it doesn't mean that's what the game should be. Call of Duty used to be really toxic. And I think that as time has progressed, I think it's become less toxic and sometimes even a little more inviting, very rarely. But I, I just think that we don't, just because toxicity is how the game was formed, that's not how the game needs to continue. And I think that by having more role players in it, you'll get more people who are not just willing to KOS the second someone walks by. I can see how like having more role players could be like on the bad side, but I feel like it would mostly be good because as Azer, Azer said, like we don't have to continue being toxic, but like just add a simple amount of role players to some servers and stuff like that i feel like it'd just be better for like the community in general because then you have the people who are like kind of roam around with you not kill people just like have fun 